Alright, so in this video we're going to do another example related to the logistic equation. And again, the logistic equation was uh, one place it certainly uses to model population growth. Uh, so it says the change in population with respect to time equals little k, which is a constant of proportionality, times p, which is the population at some time t. And then we take 1 minus p over capital K, where k is the carrying capacity. So suppose we have this situation. Um, so biologists, they stock a lake with 500 fish, and they decide that the carrying capacity of this lake to be 10,000 fish. And suppose we know that the number of fish tripled during that first year. So assuming that the size of this population does follow this logistic growth, this logistic equation, we're going to find an expression for the size of the population after t years. And then uh, probably in a separate video we'll do part B. We'll figure out how long it actually takes that population to reach 4,000. Okay, so in a separate video we actually found an explicit solution to this uh, this, this differential equation, this logistic equation, because again we notice that's really a separable differential equation. We integrated both sides and after we integrated both sides we ended up finding this to be the formula for the population at some time t. It was capital K which is the carrying capacity, 1 plus a e to the negative, this is little k times t, and again we had a way to calculate capital A, it's the carrying capacity k minus the initial population divided by the initial population. So, all right, the population at time t, we said our carrying capacity was 10,000. And then we have 1 plus our a value. But again, a, it says we take our carrying capacity, which is 10,000. We subtract away the initial population. We divide that by the initial population. And then we take our little e to the negative kt. All right, so you can check my arithmetic here. Let's see, this is 10,000. Um, let's see, 10,000 minus 500, that would be 9,500. Uh, 95 divided by 5 is going to be 19 e to the negative kt. So I claim if you simplify this stuff in the parentheses, hey, you just get 19. Um, and that's going to be our population at some time t. So the only thing we're really missing to make use of this formula is we don't know the constant uh, k. We've got to figure that out. But they said that the population of this... Uh, this fish population, we said that the number of fish tripled during the first year. So, well, that tells me then simply that the population one year later is going to equal 1,500. Again, we started with 500, so if it triples, hey, we're now at 1,500. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to plug 1 in to my formula. So we would have 10,000 over 1 plus 19 times e to the negative k times 1, because again we're just plugging 1 in for t, and we would set that equal now to 1500. Okay, so now we're simply going to have to solve this for, for k. So the first thing I would probably do is divide both sides by 10,000. So we would get 1500 over 10,000. On the left side we would have our 1 over 1 plus 19 times e to the negative k. We can cancel out some zeros. Let's see. 5 goes into 15 3 times. Uh, 5 will go into 120 times. We still have 1 over 1 plus 19 e to the negative k on the left. And what I'm going to do now is just flip both, both fractions. So we'll have 1 plus 19 e to the negative k equals 20 over 3. Well, we could subtract 1 from both sides. That would leave me with 19 e to the negative k. Uh, let's see, 20 thirds minus 3 thirds would give us 17 thirds. And now to get rid of the 19, we can just multiply both sides by 1 over 19. So we've got e to the negative k equals 17. Let's see, 3 times 19 is going to give us 57. Uh, to get rid of the, the e part, we can just take the natural logarithm of both sides. So on the left, we're just going to be left with negative k equals the natural logarithm of 17 over 57. And um, I think I'm actually going to stop at this point because, again, our, our formula for our population model, right, there was a negative k in there. 
So now it says I can simply replace the negative k with a natural logarithm of 17 over 57. So let's see if we can't squeeze it all in here. So it says the population at some time t, again we figured out that it was uh, 10,000. over 1 plus 19 times e to the negative k. But again, we just said that negative k here is this value, the natural logarithm of 17 over 57. So we'll have the natural logarithm of 17 over 57. And that's all being multiplied by t. Okay, so I think we can clean this up again a little bit more as well here. So this is p of t equals 10,000 over 1 plus 19. Again, we could think about this as being e to the ln of 17 over 57. All of that being raised to the t power because, hey, again, you just multiply the exponents. But again, the point of this, right, e and the natural logarithm are going to cancel out. So really, we'll have 1 plus 19 times the quantity 17 over 57 raised to the t power. And now to me this would be kind of a nice, uh, a nice formula for the, the population at uh, some time t. So this is what we wanted for our part a. We've now got a formula. A lot of people, you know, I've seen people when they solve here for, for k, they'll end up, you know, making the ln into a decimal. Don't even bother doing that because again, if you leave the natural logarithm in there, it's going to cancel out as soon as you plug it in, and you'll get a much cleaner and uh, really more accurate formula. So, so there's part A down. We'll do part B here in another video, just simply figuring out you know, how long does it take for that population to actually get to, I think we said 4,000.